The harmonic series, which is the infinite sum of the reciprocals of positive integers as shown here, is famous because the sum ends converge to zero, but the series itself diverges to infinity. Did you know that if you instead alternate the sum, that is add the first term, subtract the second term, and so forth, you get the alternating harmonic series, given this way as the sum where n ranges from 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the n plus 1 divided by n. This series actually does converge, and we can find the sum geometrically. So let's check out a way to do that. Let's consider a set of axes showing the first quadrant, label x equals 1, y equals 1, and x equals 2, and draw a rectangle of height 1 over the interval 1, 2. This rectangle contains an area of 1. Now let's draw the curve y equals 1 over x. Plot the x coordinate x equals 3 halves and the corresponding y coordinate y equals 2 thirds. Use 3 halves to cut the rectangle in half, removing half the area, and then re-add the rectangle with base length a half and height 2 thirds, containing an area of 1 third. This means the current pictured shape encloses an area of 1 minus a half plus a third. Now let's subdivide the two x intervals again by plotting x equals 5 fourths and the corresponding y coordinate y equals 4 fifths on the curve, and x equals 7 fourths and the corresponding y coordinate 4 sevenths on the curve y equals 1 over x. We use the x coordinate 5 fourths to cut the first rectangle with area 1 half in half and remove one of those pieces, thus removing one quarter of the total area. Then we re-add a rectangle living over the interval 5 fourths to 3 halves with height 4 fifths. This rectangle has a base of 1 fourth and a height of 4 fifths, so it encloses an area of 1 fifth. We then repeat this process on the second rectangle. We use the x coordinate 7 fourths to cut this rectangle that has area 1 third in half, remove one of those pieces, thus removing area 1 sixth, and re-adding the rectangle living over the interval 7 fourths to 2 with height 4 sevenths that encloses an area of 1 seventh. So the resulting diagram encloses an area given by the alternating sum of the reciprocals of the positive integers between 1 and 7, and there are four rectangles making up this staircase diagram. Now we're going to repeat the process we did on these four rectangles. We divide our x intervals in half, labeling the x values 9 eighths, 11 eighths, 13 eighths, and 15 eighths. We cut the first rectangle, which has area 1 fourth and half, and remove one piece, thus removing 1 eighth of the total area. We re-add the rectangle with base length 1 8th and height 8 ninths, adding an area of 1 9th. On the second rectangle, which has area 1 5th, we remove half, or remove a tenth of the total area, and re-add the rectangle with base length 1 8th and height 8 11ths, adding an area of 1 11th. Likewise, we remove half of the third rectangle, removing a total area of 1 12th, and re-add the rectangle with base length an eighth and height 8 thirteenths, adding an area of 1 thirteenth. Finally, we remove half of the last rectangle, removing a total area of 1 fourteenth, and re-add the area from the rectangle with base length 1 eighth and height 8 fifteenths, enclosing an area of 1 fifteenths. The pictured diagram now encloses an area given by the alternating sum of the reciprocals of positive integers from 1 to 15. But then we can imagine that this process has been carried out indefinitely. Each time we cut each remaining rectangle in half, remove one piece, and then re-add another piece corresponding to the left endpoint of the subdivision we made on the x-axis. Keeping track of the areas in this process will result in the alternating sum of the reciprocals of the positive integers between the next two powers of 2, and therefore the reciprocal of every positive integer will eventually show up in this infinite process. But then if we imagine that this has been carried out infinitely often, that is, we imagine the limiting shape, we see that the limiting shape is actually given by the area under the curve y equals 1 over x. But we know we can compute this area as the definite integral from 1 to 2 of 1 over x dx, which can be computed by the fundamental theorem of calculus to be natural log of 2. Therefore, the alternating harmonic series, which is the sum as n ranges from 1 to infinity, of minus 1 to the n plus 1 divided by n, must equal the natural log of 2. And we've figured this out using a geometric dissection proof.